Hi guys! So, it's finally here. I know what you did last summer. The first four episodes all dropped at once. Before we start, remember if you go on to enjoy the video, give a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more. It really helps me and the channel out. <sighs> this episode, well, because this is the first episode, I'm not going to really go into spoilers. The next video, which will be exploring episode two to four, will have the spoilers in there. In saying that, what a great start. I truly feel like you should watch the show without like seeing the trailers or like the posters or anything because there were some twists that I didn't see coming. For instance, like characters and plot points and actors that I didn't even know were in the show. So I was surprised by some of the twists and turns and the fresh take that they really had for this show. I really think the show not only draws from the original I Know What You Did Last Summer film, but it also draws from other shows like Pretty Little Liar or for all of you Sarah Michelle Gellar fans, Ringer. Yes, it is definitely a modern take and in some way I think it actually surpasses the original. Yes, I said it. I think that this show is gonna be even better than the original cult classic. Madison Isman, wow! Just wow, what a standout performance. You can definitely see that she anchors the show. She is the lead. You can tell. Her character is actually the most interesting one with the best developments and I just love her performance. The cinematography in the show is actually very filmic. The aspect ratio of the show is not a full 16 by 9. It is not like widescreen to like 233.1 but still it's very filmic. The way that the cinematographer uses shots like a lot of wide and ultra wide shots and then they go into like mid close-ups and close-ups and extreme close-ups. It was just really good cinematography. I think that in some way the cinematography is even better than the original film. I definitely was surprised at the gore and the nudity and the characters even though the characters are unlikable you still kind of root for them which is quite strange and I found myself like going wait a minute they're doing horrible things why am I still rooting for them? So I've got to give the show some credit there. And instead of having it in a small fishing town, they moved the location to Hawaii. I mean, you saw in the original film the sweeping shots of like the cliffside with the rocks and the ocean. When they have it here in this show, I mean, Hawaii is stunning. I, I mean, looking at the rocks, the waves, it was just gorgeous. It really was. I think that this has a lot of potential. And so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to see you guys for the next video where we go through episode two to four. Until next time, bye guys. Thank you so much for watching. So you can check out some more videos right now, right there, right there. There, do you see them? Also, if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss a single video. Bye!